Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. In this video, we will be discussing about MTech admissions in IIT Madras. Okay, so here the website goes like this mtechadm.iitm.ac.in. So here you can see in the home screen, you can observe that there are 18 departments and 31 MTech programs here, and data sets and artificial intelligence is the new MTech program. And moreover, here he has given the important deadlines timeline like this so 19th march 2024 tuesday the registration opens so 19th friday april 2024 registration closes so these are the important timelines that was given and here you can see the poster is there then important dates again he has given and coap portal link is also given in this particular page here in the home page itself it was given like this and moreover if you click on the information brochure so you will come across the information brochure like this in which all the departments related information what are the codes that are there everything is there in this information brochure now coming to the important dates that are there here you can observe 19th march 2024 tuesday opening of website for online applications then 18th March 2024 Monday COAP registration. See, remember that the student has to first register in the COAP portal, then use that registration number and apply for the MTech programs in this particular IIT Madras website. So here you can see 22nd March 2024 Monday, the registration for gate candidates will be there. So the registration opening date for gate candidates and 19th April 2024 is the closing of website for online applications. 11th May 2024 Saturday timeline for admission offer starts. So you can click here, there and 23rd July 2024 date of reporting for admission. So this is also given and 26th July orientation program and 29th July 2024 commencement of classes. So the dates mentioned here are tentative dear students. They might be subjected to change also. Now, coming to the MTech programs, so you can observe that the four semester MTech programs in offered in various disciplines and programs by different departments of the institute are based on the credit system and provide a student with a wide choice of courses. So there are so many courses, dear students, the programs along with the number of seats available are indicated in the table one. So if you click here, table one will be opened. So in the table one, you can see different departments are there here students you can see aerospace engineering so in aerospace engineering you have two programs ae1 code for choices ae1y ae1n so number of seats are 27 plus 28 so around 55 seats are there for aerospace engineering then department of applied mechanics you have computational and experimental mechanics and biomedical engineering so here also you can see the number of seats that are there so, bioprocess engineering, geotechnical engineering, environmental engineering. So, department of civil engineering contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 courses, dear students. Then you can see computer science engineering. So, total 47 seats are there. Then data science and artificial intelligence, 25 seats are there. Then department of electrical engineering. So, there are many specializations here. You can see for electrical engineering, dear students. So, so many specializations are there in department of electrical engineering then department of mechanical engineering there are three specializations metallurgical and materials engineering ocean engineering physics then chemical department chemical engineering specializations are there so you can observe there are many specializations here as mentioned and the number of seats are also given in the table one for each and every specialization you can observe that clearly here then See here, if the student wants to upgrade to PhD, then he need to satisfy the two criteria. First one, the candidate should have successfully completed a minimum two semesters in the MTech program. The candidate should have a minimum CGPA of eight in the prescribed courses. So then you can upgrade for PhD, dear students. Then the MTech programs offered. So here you can see the departments already I have shown you the number of seats that are available in table one. Again, all the departments related information was given for each and every department, how many specializations are there. Everything is mentioned here, dear students. You can go through this carefully. Then here, 
See tables eligibility of program here he has given table 1, table 2, table 3, table 4. Table 1 already we have discussed if we click on table 2. So table 2 will be like this. You can see eligibility for admission in various MTech programs. The discipline, qualifying discipline codes are given and these are the eligibility specialization. Eligible MTech program 2024 code. So already we have seen what is AE1, AE2 like that. There are certain things already in the table 1 so you can see AE1, AM1, AM2 so you need to match this with table 2 codes and all the information is available in the brochure also dear students you can go through the brochure thoroughly so that you will understand what are these codes and accordingly you can apply in the portal okay then here itself you can see what are the combinations a student can apply for so discipline of qualifying degree so i have taken civil engineering and gate paper also if we take civil engineering then here you have hdta program and non hdta program so in hdta program stipend will be provided in non hdta program stipend will not be provided so you can observe in hdta program how many departments are there in which the civil engineering students can apply. So, how many specializations are there? You can see here under HTTA, under non HTTA also there are certain specializations. Similarly, if you go for electronics and communication, let us say, and here the gate paper also let us consider electronics and communication, then you can see in what departments those students can apply under HTTA program, under non HTTA program. Suppose if an electronics and communication student has written a gate paper of data science and artificial intelligence, then see the qualifying degree is electronics and communication and the gate paper is data science and artificial intelligence. So here you can see what are the programs to which he can apply MTech programs under HTTA program under non HDTA program what are the specializations to which he can apply okay so you can clearly see this dear students suppose if electronic student has written electrical engineering gate paper so then you can see what are the specializations in which he can apply so like this suppose for computer science students so for computer science students if the computer science student has written gate paper of CS then you can see what are the specializations in which he can apply for. So these are the specializations dear students. You can see under HTTA program, under non HTTA program. Suppose if computer science student has written data science and artificial intelligence gate paper. So then he can apply for these things dear students. So these are the specializations to which he can apply. Now see here, you can observe the number of seats available under HTTA and non HTTA are indicated in table 1. Already I have shown you table 1. So in this, these are the number of seats that are available for various specializations and various departments. You can see what are the number of seats that are there. So one is representing this HTTA program and two represents non HTTA program. You can observe that clearly. Okay. Then admission related information. So who can apply? So you can see who can apply. Gate 2022, Gate 2023 or Gate 2024 qualified candidates if they are there and IIT graduates with B.Tech degree and CGPA of 8 and above can apply without Gate score. So this is what he has given dear students. So you can see minimum eligibility for Gate and minimum eligibility for IIT graduates that information is clearly given here. So for more information you can refer the information brochure already I have shown you the information brochure. Now here you can see apply online. So apply with a valid gate score gate 2022 gate 2023 or gate 2024 here it is given. So first the student has to register in the COAP portal then he has to register for MTech program by clicking here. So you can observe that clearly dear students. Now coming to the fee structure. So for applying for various programs, see here SCST, PWD and female candidates 300 rupees and all others 600 rupees will be the 
fee structure here dear students and here you can observe financial assistance and what are the documents that are needed to be uploaded so everything is available in the home screen only dear students just scroll down so that you can identify what is there so half time teaching assistantship scholarship 12400 rupees per month it was mentioned here clearly so maximum period of 24 months only this funding will be awarded then you need to upload pdf file of your valid gate score card so as originally downloaded image file of your recent passport size photograph the dimensions are all given image file of signature the dimensions are given then nationality certificate birth certificate or passport or voter id or tc showing nationality or certificate issued by approved government agency for nationality so all grade cards till date on consolidated mark sheet all these things you have to upload and for some programs they will ask the course syllabus also to be uploaded so you need to go through all the information thoroughly dear students so then only you need to go for applying this and remember that first you have to apply in the coip portal use that number and apply in this particular website okay so these are some of the important information that is given upgradation of choice there is a possibility of upgrading the choice of the candidates who have already accepted the offer of admission depending upon the subsequent availability of vacancies in the subsequent round of offers within the institute so try to remember that if seats are available and if you are looking for upgradation so that is also possible here so try to remember this and reporting dates payment of admission fees and refund policy everything is clearly mentioned and these are the frequently asked questions so you can go through these questions for more information and the contact information is also given so try to look at this carefully dear students so if you have any query related to any program so you have to call in between 9:30 am to 1 pm and 2 pm to 5:30 pm monday to friday and candidates are requested to call us on government working days only so that is what they have mentioned clearly and here you can see what is the contact number email id and the location of the chennai office okay dear students so this is about the important information related to iit madras mtech admission dear students thank you all the very best